Thanks for joining me today. I'm digital artist Aaron Rutten, and in this tutorial, I will teach you about the exciting new fluid paint brushes and properties in Corel Painter 2023. Fluid paint is using the enhanced cover method, so that is required. An easy way to spot if a brush can use fluid paint is to look in the properties bar for the paint opacity flyout. Let's convert a brush to use fluid paint. I'll start with the Oils Bravura brushy variant, and from the blending flyout, I will increase the dry out amount so the paint does not run out. I'll make a few reference strokes. First, I will hand paint a gradient and then attempt to smooth it out in a single stroke. Next, I'll make a long looping stroke. I'll follow that with a long straight stroke that goes from light to heavy pressure. And last, several single strokes that overlap tightly. From the properties bar, I'll open the paint opacity flyout, which gives you quick access to the fluid paint panel with all of the controls for fluid paint. You can also quickly access the paint layering panel. This was formerly known as stroke attributes, and it gives you control over how your paint layers upon underlying artwork. We'll come back to these properties. The one I wanna focus on now is the fluid paint checkbox. Once enabled, this will allow brushes to take advantage of fluid paint properties. This brush is already ready to use, and you can see it looks and behaves differently. But for demonstration's sake, I wanna change a few more properties. I will remove accumulation, min accumulation, and the expression. I'll also disable the legacy opacity expression. If I use this new brush to paint strokes that match my reference strokes, you'll notice a few differences in the look of the paint and the feel of the brush. First, this brush has an increased range of expressibility when fluid paint opacity is linked to pen pressure, especially in the mid-range. In comparison, the range of legacy opacity can feel limited when you try to paint a gradient from light to heavy pressure. Second, the artifacts or unpleasant shapes that appear when the opacity builds up too strongly have been greatly reduced where the dabs and strokes overlap. You can see how streaky and uneven the legacy brush looks compared to the one I added fluid paint to. You'll also notice in the looping stroke that the overlaps do not build up and the edges are softened in the fluid paint example. In the hand painted gradients, you can see that the fluid paint example transitions much more evenly from opaque to transparent. Enhanced cover is what gives fluid paint such a smooth appearance. The anti-aliasing creates less dab and stroke overlap compared to the legacy opacity in Painter. You also get the added benefits of better alpha blending modes and better brush performance if your GPU is supported. The third difference is that I'm able to control precisely when I want to build up opacity. If I only use light pressure, my maximum opacity will top out at a certain point and I won't be able to build up beyond that. That makes it very easy to create thin glazes or subtle shading. Fourth, when I overlap strokes, they do not build up uncontrollably. You can use the fluid opacity property to limit the maximum opacity level of your strokes. If I reset this brush, you can see that legacy brushes on the other hand build up as you overlap consecutive strokes, eventually reaching 100% opacity. Thanks for watching and enjoy Painter 2023.